Hola. Hola. Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. This is a video in English and um, it's about the present perfect tense or better said the I have eaten tense. Okay, not eaten mess. Not eaten mess. I have eaten. Okay. So, we're going to talk about something that's just really come to light as, as we've been teaching uh, Spanish and now because of um, the way that we teach a lot of Skype classes. The vast majority of our students are coming from the United States or from Canada, okay? And so this, this has come up and I think it's really important that we, we talk about it. The present perfect tense, Cynthia, speaking from your perspective in, in Spain, and remember when we say the present perfect we're talking about, I have um, gone, I have looked, I have played, I have, what have you done today, okay? It, the auxiliary verb to have and the past participle. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Done, talked, eaten, worked. Is it used in Spain a lot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, would you say it was a, in terms of general conversation, is it, is it a tense that appears frequently? Yes. It's a tense that you should learn if you're learning Spanish. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Just out of interest, I started to learn my Spanish in Mexico. And in Mexico, that's where I first started to learn the present perfect tense, this I have eaten. Okay. There's a little bit of a confusion about, um, is it used in Latin America? Okay, the confusion is most people think that it isn't used or it barely exists. I've just spent some time just looking on the internet, just under trying to understand which countries it's used in and which ones it isn't. What, what I've come up with is that the, although the present perfect tense, the present one, which is I have eaten, is used less in, in um, Latin America, but in some countries it's used the same as it's used in Spain, the perfect tenses exist, okay? Because let's not get hung up on the present perfect. That's only one of many, many perfect tenses. Let me give you an example. I have eaten, I had eaten, I will have eaten, I would have eaten, I may have eaten, I might have eaten. Okay, so there are lots and lots of tenses mm -hmm. like that. The big mistake that you can make is to say, oh, well, I only go to Latin America, so I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to learn them because they'll they're not be useful. You must learn them, okay? Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah. But one of the things that's, that's actually come out of this is that as, as I, I was talking to somebody on, on YouTube and they were asking my advice on whether they'd written a piece correctly in preterite and imperfect, okay? And they, they did this sentence and the sentence went um, in English first and then he wrote it in Spanish. When I, when I arrived home, I noticed that my parents left me a note. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. No, no would I. So, so I said to him, and then, and then he, he wrote, uh, Cuando llegué a casa, um, noté que mis padres me dejaron una nota, ¿vale? mm. un mensaje. And I said to him, look, I think you the issue... You can't say that. Yeah. It sounds, the last sentence sounds a bit... Strange, yeah. yeah. I said to him, to I think the issue is actually in the original English because it should be, when I got home, I noticed that my parents had left me. Yes, had not, left me. Had left me, which, yeah, is the, which is the pluperfect. Yeah, this had done something. But then I, I started wondering, why is it that, why did he not put that in? And that's because I think in the, in the United States, and also in Canada now, uh, I've discovered that the present perfect doesn't, exist as much as for, for example in the UK okay where we use that quite naturally we'll say to somebody like in Spanish how do you say what have you done today que has hecho hoy yeah and in English is what have you done today but I know that some people would in the US would say what did you do today yeah which is the preterite what did you do whereas we would tend to say what have you done now that's okay. That's you know that's that's the way that English is used in in the United States. But you must understand how the present perfect tense works, because in Spanish you're going to need to use it. Yes. Yeah. So 
you've got a double whammy now, double job. And that double job is that A, you need to understand how the present perfect, or how the perfect tenses work in English for then to understand how they work in, in um, Spanish. So that's really all that I, I wanted to say was just be careful with that because I tell you something that happened to me. You know, Cynthia, when I was when I was in, I went to Mexico, and I'd started to learn all the tenses. You know, the, all the, all of the persons, yo, tú, él, ella, nosotros, vosotros, ellos. And I went there, and, and the production manager of the factory said, "In no way in Latin America do we use vosotros." And I said, "Brilliant!" So I did, didn't bother learning it. I didn't learn it. And then I came back to the UK, and A started teaching it and started talking to Spanish people and I had to relearn it and it, I found it really difficult because I kind of wiped it out of my mind. The same applies with um, with the present perfect tense just because you don't use it or because some places don't use it don't think that you don't need to learn it. You do. Yeah? I agree. Yeah, but it was something I wasn't aware of. I didn't realise that in the United States and in Canada it's not used as much as we would. Um, I can remember. Can you remember the nice couple that we I used to teach um, who were on in Florida, the the yes. a, a, actors, uh -huh. yeah, and and he said to me, oh, this the present perfect tense, the I have eaten. That's quite a posh way of speaking, and m maybe in the United States it sounds quite formal. I, well, to be honest, I don't know what part of United States you're talking about because well, all the students I've it? had, well, it, it is massive. But all the students I've had from North America have used have used the present perfect. Yeah. It, maybe it's just maybe it's regional. I don't know. Maybe you can put put in the comments about that. You know, give us if you're from the US. Do you use the? Do you say what have you done or what did you do? I mean, is it specific area? I don't or know. Is it specific class? I don't know. For example, Michael. Or Michael said uh, to me, Michael, the, the guy who helps us with the, you know Michael from the videos, but he helps us. Michael. With the, Smithington's Worthingly. Worthingly, yeah, from Facebook. Yeah. He said that if he wanted to, to um, do an impression of an English person, that's probably the tense that you would choose. Say, Hello, what have you done today? <laughs> okay, so so maybe it is uh, you know, skewed more to, to the UK. Anyway, whatever happens, if you use it or you don't use it, you must learn it in Spanish and you must learn all the perfect tenses. Okay, it's important. Do you know one tense that people... Now about three, three or four students have used it and I have never used it in my life nor anybody that I know mm -hmm. in the Spanish community and I don't even think they use it in Latin America but I'm not going to say for certain, that's for certain because mm -hmm. I'm not sure. The, um, the future subjunctive. Future subjunctive, yeah, yeah. We don't use the future subjunctive. Why is it in the book? Do they use it somewhere? I don't know. Mm. But definitely not in Spain. And I don't think they use it in Mexico. Which I, I've never heard it in Mexico. I've never heard it. Or I think I've it's heard... archaic Spanish. Um, well, we've got sentences with that. We've got, for example, we've got Allá donde fueres, haz mm. lo que vieres. But that's about it. I don't think we have... We don't use it. I have never used this ever in my life. Mm. De tuviere, hiciere, pusiere, ever. Mm. And yet... Some people, when we do homework, they, they add they it, it and they say, oh, this is the future subjunctive. And so we don't really use So that one, if you're studying it, unless you're certain that they use it in the region you're moving to or you're interested in. Don't bother. Really? Don't bother. Okay. That one, I can tell you not to bother. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the perfect tense is absolutely. The perfect tense, yes. Okay. Pues muchas gracias, Cynthia. Sé que he hablado mucho, pero bueno. <laughs> De nada. Just for the nodding. <laughs> so, yeah, nodding, yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you. Hope, hope that's of value. Nos vemos. Y nos vamos. Hasta luego. Adiós.